Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one, we're going to take a look at the moving walkway in Minecraft. So as you can see over here, we have two little walkways. One is for going forwards, one is for coming backwards over here. So as you can see, when I get on this one over here, we're gonna start moving and as you can see, we will automatically reach the other end. So the way this works is very simple, over here we have a piston tape which is cycling through walls and normal blocks. So as you know that the walls have a hitbox higher than normal blocks. So if you get stuck in between of these, you're going to be pushed with the walls because this is a little bit lower. So this is how it all functions, you just get on over here and the carpet doesn't affect the hitboxes so it's gonna be just normal there and uh, you're just gonna start moving so it doesn't affect that the uh, hitboxes so as you can see even on the carpet this works very very nicely all right so to build this thing you will need all the items in my entry and you will want to start off with a three wide area and you can have it as long as you want just make sure it doesn't reach up to 12 blocks because it won't be the pistons won't be able to push those so firstly what we're gonna do is come over here and make the uh, piston feed tape. So what you're gonna do is start off by placing a piston just, just like that over there and a piston over here and then going up here place a piston facing this way and then another piston over here just like this. So as you can see it creates a cycle. And to connect all of these up, we're just gonna add blocks just like that, and then two blocks here, rest on dust, and then a repeater at the end with two ticks. So we're gonna go over here, add blocks, and just take them just like this, and then place blocks just like that, add a block over here, and then repeater with two ticks, rest on dust, repeater with two ticks, rest on dust, and we're just gonna come up to here, and the same thing over here block there block there redstone repeater two takes and then blocks and redstone dust so this is the whole uh, piston feed tape and we're just gonna power this anyhow with however you want to and now we're gonna just uh, just stop this cycle for a minute and uh, start off placing all your blocks so what I'm gonna do is use the cobblestone you can also use fences but they don't really work that well so what you want to do is place a normal block over here, then a cobblestone block and then a normal block and just alternate them just like this. And at the end over here, make sure that there are no blocks in front of these three pistons over here. So just going to place a block there and then a wall over there and then alternate those and we're going to come over here and add a block over there. So there is going to be two blocks in the system. Uh, just right after each other but it won't make that much of a difference so we're just now gonna power that and as you can see the whole thing now take gets in action just add all your blocks around this whole thing just like this and cover it all up now what we're gonna do is start off by placing your carpets to so just place carpets on all of these now you cannot place carpets on the uh, on these blocks over here on top of these because they constantly get replaced and the, the carpet will break so you're just gonna add carpet on all of these just like this and you can also use different colors to uh, indicate which the path uh, which in which direction the path is going it's gonna cover all of these just cover these pistons up with slabs or carpets and you're good to go Alright, so that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.